question is, will their names be hyphenated, Rios and Alvarado, the way Wards and Gaddies are, the way Corrales and Castillo are? That's the kind of talk that has been buzzing around boxing since this fight was made. Oh, what an uppercut by Alvarado. Winds up with a right. And Rios just eats it and keeps coming forward. I'm a warrior. I got balls. I come to fight. I don't come to hug. I don't come to dance. I come to fight, man. You know what I like that Alvarado does? He fights like hell, just like Rios. No, this is my ring. You know, I, I own this ring. I'm not going to back up. I'm not going to sit here and bow down to you. You know, I'm, I'm going to sit there and fight you. I'm going to beat you at your game. Mano a mano. Wow. Bombs away. Rios and Alvarado. Today, once defeated Mike Alvarado is training at the Azteca Boxing Club in preparation for his March 30 rematch with Brandon Rios, an opportunity that animates everything the fighter does. Right hand, two jabs. There's so much going into this one. It's deeper for me because, you know, I lost. I, I hate losing since I did, you know. It's just, it's pushing me that much harder to, to do the best I can to, to win this next fight. Full trust. I don't want to let nobody down. People, I have kids coming up to me. You're my hero. I made mean, my whole life's on this. That's just kind of the mentality. I've always kind of pushed with Mike is the take no prisoners kind of attitude, you know? We're bringing it like we always do. You know, we ain't changing his style, you know? We're foot to the metal the whole time. I'm just ready for this fight. I'm just ready to, to redeem myself from, from the last fight. Seventy-five miles away in Oxnard, California, Brandon Bam Bam Rios, unbeaten in 32 professional fights, also prepares for the rematch. I'm right here in Oxnard, California at Robert Garcia Boxing Academy, and we're here because of the fact that me and Alvarado's gonna go at it again. I'm calling it World War II. Hopefully he's prepared because I'm ready for another battle. Well, great training camp. The only difference is this time Brandon's gonna be more explosive. I think his power is there, his speed is going to be there. It's going to end in five rounds. I'm not trying to be the best. I'm not trying to be a pop of pound. I just love to fight. He loves to get hit. I see him getting hit, and I know it's not good, but deep inside, I, I feel OK, because that's what he needs to be able to become the Brandon that he is, the, 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 the beast that is inside the ring. I want guys that come to fight. I want to test my will. That's why I like to fight. That's why I want a, a Turgati and a Ward fight, because I want to test my will. That will was tested last year, on October 13, as Rios and Alvarado met in one of 2012's most anticipated fights. Both of these guys, Rios and Alvarado, have that thing in them, that next level thing. You hit me, I'm gonna hit you back harder, and twice. That's what we all expect to happen. Uh, I was expecting the same type of fight. Just do me. Do what I do best. Fight, and fight, and fight. I knew he was a tough fighter. You know, I knew he liked to just come forward and, and make you fight. I was just trying to go for a knockout, you know, because first time I won 40, in my mind, well, I got to throw everything hard. I got to throw nothing but power shots so I can hurt the guy. Now Rios steps in with a left hand to the chin of Alvarado. Oh, and another left hand right on the button. These guys play for keeps. I mean, the punches they're throwing have knockout written all over them. When the bell rang and Brandon's walking to the corner right now, I, I see the smile in, in, in his face. I knew we had the Brandon that, that I wanted to have. In the first round. Keep moving those uppercuts. Yeah, yeah, so. I know you fucking loved it. Let's go, all right? It was great, man. That's what I love to do. Like I said, I love to get hit once in a while. This is what you would call an old school dog fight. Both well away with right hand. I was expecting it to be a war, but I mean, I, I was making it easier when I kept him outside, you know, when I kept him away from me and at distance. 
he'd throw a shot, and then he'd let kind of Brandon back into it. And I think Brandon did better because of what we allowed him to do, not because of what Brandon was doing, but because of what Mike wasn't doing. I need your hands up, Mike. I need your hands up. You hear what I'm saying? Hands up. You're letting still the rounds in, OK? Rios in a bit of trouble. Alvarado letting power punches go. It's like, wow, we went at it. That was the most exciting round of that whole fight. We went back and forth, back and forth, the whole fifth round. And then when he stopped, time to go to work, baby. My turn. Pat, 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 pat. So we was going back at it, back and forth, back and forth. It was awesome. That was a badass round. Good left right combination, right hand by Rio. So I think for the first time someone's hurt. And when I heard him with that right, I knew I had him. I knew I could hurt him. Oh, yeah, I'm ready now. I seen it right before the end of the sixth round. I seen that Brandon hurt him, and it was time to, to go out for the kill. Let's go, Brandon. You fucking hurt him. You seen it, right? Yeah. OK, then. Alvarado eats the left and right. Another right hand. Rocks Alvarado. Right hand again. And referee Pat Russell steps in and stops it. I try to come back. I put my hands out. I try to come back right away, like instantly. I was like, what's going on? Why, why are you stopping the fight? We're still going. The referee was doing his job. He don't want nobody to get hurt. He seen Michael Arado was defenseless, and he was. It is what it is. It was his night. It was meant for him to, to win that fight. He had my number that night. I had to just make a, a few adjustments to not let that happen again. At some point, do you see the two of you getting back in the ring and doing that again. Hey, you know what? Right now, the fans, you want it? Do you want it? If they want it, I want it. My manager want it. Fuck it, let's do it again. Five months after their first epic encounter, Rios prepares for the March 30 rematch once again with longtime trainer Robert Garcia. The duo have been together since 2004, and it has been a collaboration that has served both men well, helped in part by the fighter's unusually affable disposition. Well, you know, I got a great personality. I'm an outgoing person. I like to tell a lot of jokes. I fuck around a lot. Uh, that's definitely, that's 100% true. Robert's a good fucking liar, yeah, bro. Fucking Robert's dude. a good fucking liar. <laughs> Oh, God, man, Brandon, the first day he meets you, he, you know, he'll start joking and, you know, talking dirty and just being fun, just being Brandon. That's the way Brandon is. To all you guys, fuck you. <laughs> he's a very great friend of mine. He's one of my best men out of my wedding. He's my Nino. That means he's my godfather. Brandon is my father, but also, like, my little brother. Now he's married, now he's got his own family. His family is number one now. For Rios, home is just a few miles away from Robert Garcia's gym. And it's there, surrounded by the tranquility his family provides, where he feels most at ease. We're at our house. You know, after a hard day's work in gym, I like to come home and just relax, kick with the family, and don't think about the gym no more. I come daddy time now. All my kids are named after fighters. This is Brandon Lee. Reels the second. Show him, show him. <laughs> but this is my little one, the, the little 10 months right here. This is my wife right here, Vicky, AKA Guadalupe Rios. Vente. This is my other daughter. It's named after another fighter, Mia St. John, right here. So you show you not a bite. Pop out. He's very outgoing. I mean, he's easy to get along with. He's funny. And one thing about Brian, he's just himself. That's why I'd like to have a camp here. It's better, man. It, after a hard workout in the gym, I come home and I'm relaxed. I get to be with my kids. You know, I get to see the face. It brings a little more joy to myself. It was meant for me to be a fighter. My biological dad was, was a fighter. You know, I didn't know that growing up. I really didn't know my, my biological father. It was like I, I was leading my life towards where I am now. While Mike Alvarado's road to the boxing ring may have seemed predestined, his original combat sport was instead on a wrestling mat. I started wrestling when I was like four years old. And, you know, it was my passion, and that's what I stuck with for 13 years straight. I have over like 2,500 wrestling matches in my time. 
I think I just got burnt up from it. Because I was so good at it. Like, where else was I going to take it? And then one day, I just went to the gym, and it was like, boom, I had an epiphany out of nowhere. It was just like, all right, let's, let's, let's try this. Let's do this now. I had him sparring like two weeks later, and he was just a natural at it. And the first day he sparred him, he sparred a kid that had like 20 fights, and he was slamming around the ring. The kid was actually like, oh, I thought we were, I was supposed to take it easy on him. And then I just kept going consistently, and here I am now, through all that long, hard road. I feel like I'm still learning this game, you know? I just started late in this boxing game. And with the biggest fight of his career in front of him March 30, Alvarado knows he has an opportunity to rewrite his story. I'm just happy that I get another shot. You know, I, I, I could redeem myself from, from that fight. Yeah, I don't feel like I made it to, to be the best I could possibly be. I know Alvarado, he wants revenge. I know he's 100% going to be ready, so I'm going to be ready. And this should be a great fight again. We want to win this fight. We want to show that we're warriors because that's the type of heart we both have. I don't want to leave it into the judge's hand. I'm going for the 10 count. I'm preparing myself for a knockout. I could say I'm going to sit here boxing the whole time and try to step around and make it easier to fight, but I know it's going to turn into another war. I, that's just the way the fight's going to go. Brandon Rios and Mike Alvarado meet in the ring once again. Don't miss the rematch, Saturday, March 30, on HBO's Boxing After Dark.